everyone, it's Sherry Carroll here for SimonSaysStamp.com with another recipe card using the color coordinates inspiration. I have created a card using the Simon Says Stamp exclusive card stocks and also a few of the exclusive dies. This is a really easy card to make with a little bit of assembly, so I have cut some card stocks and I'm using green apple, sunshine, sea glass, and orange peel, and then I have a panel of fog cardstock. I have cut the hearts out using the tic-tac-toe hearts die, and I just used a piece of paper and cut out like nine hearts at the same time, so I'll have extra for later. I've also used the large balloon die, and I've cut the corner of a Nina panel, and so that will sit just on top of that fog cardstock. To line up my hearts, I'm using my straight edge or my T ruler and I've put a little bit of foam tape on the back of my hearts so I'm going to go ahead and press that ruler up to that left side make sure that holds in place and then I can go ahead and align my hearts in two rows. I've used some foam adhesive on that white Nina cardstock and I've lifted that up from that fog panel and now I'm using my multi matte medium and I'm going to wrap my little bow here that I've tied around a paintbrush sorry that little lid always wants to come out. So I'm going to wipe off a lot of that glue and I'm going to go ahead and add some of that multi-medium to the strings of my bow. This is how I get the curled edges. So I don't want a lot of glue, just enough to kind of moisten the string and so it will hold in place. So I have a skinny handle of a paintbrush here and I'm just going to lay my bow on and then I'm going to start winding those strings around. I will remove it from the paintbrush before it completely dries and lay it out. While my bow is drying, I am going to add my greeting, and this is the Simon Says Stamp Thanks, and it's in Christina Werner's handwriting. I absolutely love it. And I've cut that out from sea glass paper. My glue of choice to use on these really small intricate dies is the two-way glue pen. This way I can just add dots of glue, and I can let this dry a little bit before applying it onto my card. Um, so I'm just mainly getting the tops, bottoms, and some dots in the middle so that it secures well onto the card. And you just push on the glue tip. It's just like a spring-loaded kind of glue tip. And once I'm ready, I can go ahead and flip this over and put it onto my card. To finish things off, I added my bow to the balloon knot by just using a little bit of glossy accents. I hope you've enjoyed my color coordinates inspiration recipe for today and thanks for watching.